Hey everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Easy Drummer 2 with Studio One and how to do a multi-track output of the Easy Drummer VST so you can process your drums uh, on multi-track just like you would if they were acoustic drums. Kick on one track, snare on another, toms on another, etc., etc. It's real simple to do in Studio One and I'm going to show you how to do that today. But before we get to that, if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing. Also hit that notification bell. Also go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and I want to give you a free mixing course. My gift to you for checking out homerecordingmadeeasy.com worth about 50 bucks. Click on the orange button delivered right to your inbox. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm also going to give you another free gift. So let's jump into Studio One. So I basically went over to my browser. Easy Drummer is in my instrument folder. Left click, dragged it on the empty page here, and it creates an instrument track for me. And then I went, and here we go. There's our Easy Drummer drum kit, the stock drum kit that's loaded up. Then I went over to the browser. I picked myself a groove and... I basically just dragged it onto the empty uh, edit page here and had some MIDI data here. So now if I were to play back this from the top here, here's what we have. Okay, sounds fine. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now, when you create that instrument track and you put it, you're gonna get one track down here in the console view in the mixer area in Studio One. So when I bring my VST instrument onto the song page here, it automatically creates one track and you can see the whole drum kit is playing out this one track. And the whole point is, well, how do I get it so all each one of the elements, kick, snare, toms, etc., are on separate tracks? Great question. So first thing we need to do is come over to the mixer here in Easy Drummer. And you see we have a mixer here with the pattern and the drum kit that I picked. We have our kick, snare, hi-hats, toms, overheads. We have some ambient mics, some compressors, some reverb, and some other things here that I've lowered um, that we just want to do the direct mics for this demonstration. Um, and you can see underneath each one of these, kick right above it, it's going out channel one. Snare is going out channel one. Hi-hat's going out channel one. Toms are going out channel one. And that's why everything is only playing through the output channel one on in the console view. So in order to get this on a multi-track setup, real simple. So we're gonna leave kick on track one. We're gonna go over the snare, we're gonna left click the drop down arrow and we're gonna go output two. Hi-hats, we're gonna put output three. Toms, we're gonna put output four. And the overheads, we're gonna put output five. Now, if you wanted to put your ambient mic on output six and you wanted to control the compression and the reverb and such on different tracks you can, but for this demonstration, we're just gonna take the actual drum mics, okay? Now, also in the mixer, you can see that it's already kind of pre-mixed based on the groove that you picked, and you can see everything's at like negative two, negative three, negative two, uh, at unity, negative four. What I like to do is bring these up to unity, just so we have everything here going out of the Easy Drummer mixer into Studio One console, the console view, at uh, zero dB, okay? And then I could close this for a second. Now, if you open up the instrument tab here in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see where it says Easy Drummer, and there's a little drop-down arrow. You wanna click that drop-down arrow and click on Expand. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna give us all the available outputs that are available to us. Right now, we have it on channel one, that's the default, that's why you see one track. But we said what, there were five outputs we chose in Easy Drummer? So if I click this box, look what happens. Two, three, four, Five. Now each one of our drums is on a single track. And if I were to just click this open for a second so we can see, come back to our drums here. And if I play back that same part here in Studio One, look at the console view down here in Studio One. Okay. And there you go, so now everything on its own separate track. And again, because we turned up the mixer internally in Easy Drummer to Unity Gain, if those are a little too loud, you can adjust the volumes right here. And now the beauty of this is you can use all your all your plugins that you'd wanna use, like you would with audio tracks, right here in the inserts, and you can send them to effects and do whatever you want and process them just like audio. You can double click down here and you can rename these. Tom's, whoops, snare toms, overheads, et cetera, et cetera, so you know what track you're working with. And it's really that simple. So that is how you output 
multi-track in Easy Drummer using it in Studio One. Very, very simple to do. Quick little video. Now, I said at the end of the beginning of the video, I want to give you another free gift. So again, if this is your first time here, I want you to go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com, get your $50 free mixing course right on the homepage. Check it out, dig it. And if you like my style of teaching and you find that my style of teaching resonates with you and you would like to pick up another one of the training courses at homerecordingmadeeasy.com, I want to give you a 25% discount coupon code. That coupon code is YouTube25. YouTube 25, you put that in at checkout, it'll take 25% off any other course on the website. It's my gift to you, again, just for visiting homerecordingmadeeasy.com. All the links and the coupon code will be in the description box below. And until the next video, I've been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody.